Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my second lecture on nerve injury and I am going to discuss the regenerative changes in the neuron. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the changes in the part of neuron distal to the site of injury and that was valerian degeneration. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed that uh, the part of neuron distal to the site of injury will be degenerated by a process of valerian degeneration only the Schwann cells are spared, not even the myelin sheath has spared. Now, what are the changes that will occur in the proximal segment? After following injury, some degenerative changes also occur in the proximal segment. These degenerative changes are termed as Retrograde degeneration in which the cell body swells up and become round. The cell body swells up and become round. The nissel granules these are degenerated. Weakly stained This is known as chromatolysis The endoplasmic reticulum and the nucleus move away from the center These are eccentrically placed Nucleus and the endoplasmic reticulum both are eccentrically placed. Nucleus also shows swelling. It swells up. So these are the changes which occur in retrograde degeneration in the cell body. Now, after some time, regeneration will occur and these events of regeneration will include first somatic changes or changes in soma in which the changes that have occurred in retrograde degeneration Changes occurred in retrograde degeneration are reversed. That means nucleus again becomes central in position. ER and nissel granules appear and become normal. ER acquires normal position. Soma shape becomes normal. So the changes that have occurred during retrograde degeneration are basically reversed. So first change during regeneration is somatic changes. Second chain is that in the axonal stump proximal to the site of injury that shows sprouting. So axonal stump it shows 
स्प्राउटिंग सो फ्यू ब्रांचेस में स्प्राउट ऑफ द एक्सोनल स्टम देन द श्वान सेल्स विच हैव सर्वाइव मे डिवाइड और मे नॉट डिवाइड एंड बट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट श्वान सेल्स अलाइन दैन सेल्स इन रो सो सर्वाइविंग श्वान सेल्स श्वान सेल्स हैव ऑलरेडी सर्वाइव सो वी कैन यूज ओनली श्वान सेल्स श्वान सेल्स divide and align themselves in a row in previous position that is prior to injury now one of the sprout will enter the sequence of schwann cells like this and it will continue to grow until unless the receptor organ is target organ is received then it will form some branches so one of the sprout will enter the schwann cell sequence in between the schwann cells it is not penetrating the schwann cells but it is crossing the cavity or is entering the cavity surrounded by schwann cells the schwann cell sequence and reach the target organ and form neuro muscular junction there so these are the changes occurring in soma axon and schwann cells and the final act of schwann cells is schwann cells start secreting myelin sheath now they will start secreting myelin sheath around it does the regeneration will occur two important things that should be discussed with them is the rate of regeneration regeneration basically occurs in pns and rate varies to 1 to 5 mm per day higher in myelinated neurons and slower in non myelinated neurons or less myelinated neurons another term is degeneration hypersensitivity it means that as neurotransmitter release after injury is decreased at neuromuscular junction the response of target organ is increased and this is known as degeneration hypersensitivity 
So these all are the changes occurring during the regeneration. In next video, we'll discuss the sudden classification of nerve injury. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.